please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. People are increasingly over the moon about over the top or OTT with more shifting to consuming content on mobile and on demand platforms. One of the clear winners from this trend has been social media. How do companies leverage that? Akiko talks about the trend with the chief global marketing officer for Hootsuite, a platform which helps companies keep track of their various social platforms. My prediction is that social is going to take over television. I think you see that in some of the video content. It's become the most predominant content uh, um, method out there. So it does, d depends whether it's Facebook or Snapchat. Um, but con video is definitely the direction of the future. And then you're seeing all these different programmatic sort of Facebook Live, Facebook Watch, all these different programmatic ways to use video. So social is taking over television for advertisers or in terms of just where content is consumed? Where content is consumed. So what does that mean for uh, some of these companies that are currently on TV advertising? You know, uh, how do you try to guide them along to, to come up with that effective strategy? Well, I think that they have to be looking at all of their mediums, whether their customers are on YouTube or, or any of the platforms, along with television as, an, as a platform of opportunity. But you're looking at billions of people on these social media platforms, and so it's a you know it's an advertiser's dream in many situations. How does Hootsuite, as a, a social media management company, um, you know, try to stay ahead? What are the tech investments that you see is key to to making sure you're ahead of the trend there? Well, I think artificial intelligence is definitely a trend that Hootsuite is watching because I think. Artificial intelligence just gives you an opportunity to almost make that interaction with customers more human because it allows you to get better listening, it allows you to tailor your content and test your content more specifically. I know that a lot of people relate AI with chatbots and they think that's dehumanizing, but it's actually allowing you to get a customer to what information they want faster and therefore freeing up your employees to spend more time directly with customers. So I, I really think artificial intelligence is a trend for the future. Here in Asia, um, you know, we talk a lot about being mobile first and yes. more and more people just increasingly being on their phones consuming content there uh, which is naturally where the advertisers go as well um, how do you think that changes up the strategy for some of these companies when you look at um, what's being done in the u.s versus in asia is there is there a significant difference in, in how content is consumed on this side of the world well, I don't think so. I think that you know the mobile device, no matter whether you're a millennial or you're a baby boomer, has become the device of choice. And so I know it's the fastest growing mobile market is in Asia, but it you know it creates that expectation of immediacy for any company. So the customers are expecting that you're going to be online anytime, anywhere, from any location, whether it's a product, a service, or information, they expect that immediate response. So looking forward, let's say five years down the line, um, where do you think this space is going? Is it going to be dominated by two big platforms? Is it, it's the, it, you know, it's the million dollar question, right? Yes. But, I don't have a million dollar answer for you. I think that uh, it will be dominated by whatever platforms the consumer, we're in a consumer led mode. We're no longer you know, marketing in, a, in send mode, we're in receive mode. So no matter where everybody wants to be, um, that's the beauty of a social media management platform is that we, we don't choose between one or the other.